Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTD5. Let's continue with the Mastery Mode updated series. I'll be using, as always, all the lab upgrades. And for today's track, I'll be using the Engineer Special Building Level 4 until uh, around uh, like uh, 35, 36, something like that. Then I'm gonna switch to the Bloom Cheaper Special Building. Uh, you're gonna be needing this Special Building only level 3. So even though I have the level four is not required right and yeah those two special buildings are what i'm gonna use for today's track uh, let's continue with the advanced tracks in master mode um and today's track is gonna be u-turn all right so uh, this track playing it in normal or reverse is gonna be pretty much the same um, there's gonna be two paths here coming from uh, one the top side and one the bottom side and the, each of them is gonna follow pretty much the side of the road they're in so in this case the top path is gonna follow the top uh, part of the road then then it's gonna become the bottom part of the road and then the inner path is gonna do exactly the opposite so uh, I recommend starting here um, with the, the minimal essential to get the farms going and to get enough towers. And that minimum is gonna be uh, some uh, turtles. So I recommend just placing one there and the other one here, All right? Pretty much like a mirror. Um, of course, because of how the truck is built, um, the bottom path is going to be easier to pop because as you can see the turtle can have some good piercing going on because the balloons are closer to where the tower is placed whereas the top turtle is going to struggle uh, more uh, because the balloons are going to be further from where the turtle is placed so the piercing uh, will not be as good as it is in the bottom part so you have to remember that especially for uh, later rounds uh, so always, you know, the first balloon is going to come out from the top side and always uh, the top side is going to be uh, harder to uh, deal with than the bot side. So remember that, you know, when you get towers, when you place towers and you upgrade them, just upgrade first the top side and then the bottom side. All right. That's a pretty simple uh, thing to remember. But here the turtles are gonna give me the advantage I need early to get these farms rolling. Um, I got the engineer special building anyway, you know, with the turtles. So that in this way I can just um, uh, get enough, you know, uh, popping power even after when the turtles are gonna start struggle. I still gonna have some good piercing with the engineer and with the one zero upgrade of the engineer. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty simple. Um, with the farm strategy is gonna be pretty much the same, you know, where whenever you can get the farm before the round ends, so you get the extra cash, and then afterwards just sell one of them to get the other one to zero. Uh, I prefer getting them in this bottom left corner uh, because in that way uh, I'll be able to get a farmer and a village for all the four of them. So uh, that's more, that's better, you know, with one village covering the four farms. All right, so let's get the second one here going before the run ends, of course. Um, so yeah, this track uh, can be difficult if you don't know how to approach it, uh, especially because all the both paths are, are not going to be so long, you see, uh, they're going to finish pretty soon. Okay, I couldn't get the farm here before the round ended, uh, that's pretty hard to get. Uh, then I'll get pretty much here a farmer. Very nice because the farm is gonna help whenever blooms from this side or this side are gonna start coming here. The farm is gonna place the bananas onto the track and it's gonna distract the blooms. 
So that's uh, an extra help uh, that you can have with the Pro Unlocked of the Farmer. And also in this way, uh, the game is not going to be delayed a lot because the bananas are going to get placed here. So the balloons at maximum are going to bounce back and forth like there. All right, that's another farm. Around 18, um, I may just place now the engineer. I'm going to just place it there. So uh, it's going to help the turtles popping all these balloons from now on. I'm not going to get the one zero grade yet. I'll just get the... I'll just place it there, zero, zero. Okay, let's get here the extra cash. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell it to get this one, two, zero. So I'm gonna just upgrade it one, zero, two. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's get here the last farm. All right. Did I got the extra cash already? I think I did, but anyway, I'm gonna just upgrade engineer now one zero because of this lead round. So uh, with the with the sentry guns, I should be able to clean up more. So to add some good piercing. All right, and this should be already uh, that two zero tower. Here we go. The camo, as you see, the camo. So the single uh, balloon wave, uh, the camo is gonna come from the top side. So also the BFB round forty six is gonna come from the top side, and also the zone I got in round sixty is gonna come out from the top side. Uh, remember that. That's the village for the four farms. You know covering everything uh, you should be good all these rounds here with the sentry guns and the two turtles so just uh, go ahead and get the three zero farms all right and that should be the second one all right and for around uh, uh, 31, actually, it may be better to place some ninjas here uh, in front of these turtles. One, one, and on the other side, exactly the same. So two ninjas here. Uh, this is going to help a lot, having two of them and not only one. And with these two ninjas, uh, you should be fine also for around 33, so for the pink camos in round 33. So I recommend here not getting any other tower, just surviving with this and uh, getting for round 33 uh, the factory. Here we go, pretty easy. Then whenever you have enough cash, uh, place already the village so that uh, you can start upgrading towers for less cost. One zero, uh, let's get these ninjas now, three two. And after this round, I think round 35 here. Yeah, I'll just go back uh, to the home button and I'm gonna activate the balloon shipper special building um, the once you get the ninjas the engineer and the sentry guns are not so important anymore because you get the ninjas that are gonna start doing most of the damage to the balloons so that's why I think level 35 round 35 is one of those rounds where you wanna switch to the balloon shipper special building and once you get this Blue Shipper Special Building, uh, because you have already Village 1-0, you can tell when the towers are outside or inside the range of the village, just because the range gets increased. So try to place these Blue Shippers the closer you can to the beginning of uh, each path. 
but still under the range of the village. Uh, okay. Here we go. Both of them uh, zero zero strong, and that should be that should be it. You know, with the balloon shipper special building at least a level three, you should be able to slow also the balloons once they get sucked in by the balloon shipper. And then for round 37, for the camolites at the end, I recommend just getting a sniper, uh, not um, an apprentice, but a sniper, because the sniper is gonna be able to cover both of the tracks uh, at the same time. So in this way, you're gonna be able to pop the camolites at the very end of round 37 uh, in a go. So as you see, very, very fast. Afterwards, you can just sell the 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 sniper, you know, you only need it for level 37. Then I'll get both of the balloon shippers to zero uh, just because of the fact that I want uh, some uh, uh, lead popping power extra now that the engineer without the special building can't pop a leads. All right, I got the village to one so that now the ninjas and the blue shippers attack faster. And now, as I said earlier, I'm gonna get um, first the blunt cheaper in the top side, you know, upgraded for two, and then I'm gonna get the blunt cheaper in the bottom side. So pretty much, uh, always remember to upgrade in this direction. So first top side and then bottom side. Yeah, right, here we go. Now one blunt cheaper for each side. So uh, you should be very good for round 43 and 47. For round 49, you're gonna be needing another Brun Shipper, but until round 47, you should be good. So in this case, I'm, I just prefer selling the, the Brun Shipper, the engineer there. He's not doing a lot of stuff and I can sell it for some cash back. I'll get the bomb and I'll get the glue gunner. Here we go, behind the village. I have already the two ninjas for two, so I'm good with that. And I'm gonna start preparing, you know, using these rounds uh, for the round 49. So placing already the balloon shippers uh, behind the closer you can to the first ones, the better it is. So that's one. And that's two. Always in range of the village, of course. And uh, start upgrading them, you know, starting from the top side and then going to the bot side. So you have already uh, them ready for round 49. Here we go. Then normally I like to get here the village 2-2 so that all the towers now can spot camo and not only the two ninjas so I don't get overwhelmed by some uh, weird uh, and hidden camo. Alright, that's it. So for, with four Boon Shippers total uh, you should be able to survive pretty well around 49 here. And also now getting the bomb for two is gonna start adding some more CC. Uh, so more time for the ninjas, more time for the balloon shippers to pop the balloons. Afterwards, uh, for round 54, uh, you're gonna be needing actually two more balloon shippers. So place them, you know, place the third one behind the second one. Okay, that should be one. And this should be the sec another one. All right. Just upgrade them right away uh, so that you have already uh, them upgraded for round 54. So as you can see here uh, in the bottom side, you know, normally I can pop easier and faster the balloons in the bottom side than the balloons in the top side just because of how the truck is built. You know, these balloons are gonna be further from the towers than these balloons. 
So that's why I recommend here before even getting uh, other farms, before getting anything like that, just get an ace here, uh, so closer to the top side, and start upgrading it. So to uh, zero four, four zero, sorry. So that with this ace now you have some kind of piercing and popping power of the balloons, even if they are further from the towers. Uh, I know it's not gonna be a lot, but it's better than nothing. And with this, uh, you should be able to survive round 54 here. Round 54, the main problem is going to be the top side because of the balloons are going to start stacking up here. Um, because the ninja, uh, the balloon shippers have a greater range than the ninja. So, um, as you can see here, a lot of balloons stacking up and then they're all together, they're going to start passing. So that's why I recommend here getting a second, uh, before even getting more farms, you know, getting a uh, specter, so four zero ace. Because the ace is gonna start attacking from unlimited range, both of the uh, paths, and that is gonna make the gameplay a lot easier. So here, sadly, a lot of lag from the balloon chipper a special building. I'm just waiting here. As soon as I get the 4 zero race, I'm gonna just remove the Blue Shipper special building so that I don't have any more of this lag. All right, here we go. I got the 4 zero race, so now there should be no problems anymore with Bloom stacking here or here. I'll just exit here uh, very fast. I'm gonna deactivate the Blue Shipper special building again just because of the lag. There is no other reason. Resume game, and now I'm gonna um, start placing the farms again. So I'm gonna start getting the second, third factory, and so on. All right, let's go. Now the balloon shippers are gonna be are gonna have less range, but they're not gonna slow anymore the balloons once they are they speed them back, and that is gonna be pretty much uh, the thing that is gonna make the lag uh, almost non-existent in these rounds. Now there is not going to be any more the stars on top of the balloons to show that they are slowed. All right, so let's get now the next factory. With the ace, uh, it should be no problem. Actually here, uh, around 60, all the bananas are gonna come out at once. So I don't think it's worth it to sell everything now. So I'm gonna just wait one more round and then I'm gonna get the factory so that I get uh, most of the 13 bananas to boxes. All right, I'm gonna sell this one. Here we go. And now I'll get pretty much exactly in the mirror spot, but in the bottom side, another race. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, for round 63, it should be... Uh, enough time to get also the second ace for zero but if you don't have it for the very beginning of round 63 it doesn't matter uh, you're gonna be able to upgrade it uh, halfway round so in this case for example I could pop pretty much easily the mobs in the top side the mobs in the bottom side I struggle a bit because uh, this ace wasn't ready wasn't for zero but now that uh, I got it in mid round, uh, that's easy. So that's the mob rushes gun, pretty much. Ok, 
Okay, that should be another factory here. All right. And then I'm going to just place the last one here. So as you can see here, uh, just with a good strategy and having two turtles to help at the beginning, uh, it's pretty easy to deal with this track. I think you can survive this track even with one turtle only at the beginning, but uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna struggle a bit more. You're gonna have to be more careful about the rounds and about specifically the engineer special building, you know, placing the engineer correctly and uh, so on. But uh, I think it's doable. Uh, in this case, I just prefer going with two so that I don't have any trouble at all. Okay, that's all the four factories. I'm gonna just sell this village. I got here the two, three uh, village. So now greater range. I think I can place another brune shipper uh, in front of these three brune shippers. So pretty much like, let's see. Yeah, like here, still in range of the village. Okay, now it is. So that's one more here. And that's one more there. Here we go. So four balloon shippers. Uh, and I think the next step is the, is a very important one. Um, the ninjas and the turtles, um, once you get the aces, also the bomb and the glue gunner, they, they become pretty much useless, uh, you know. So in this case, I recommend just getting enough room whenever you can to get another race here and here. So in this case, I'm going to be able to place an ace here pretty easily, but I'm not going to be able to do that in the top side. So uh, I think here probably is because of this tree there that uh, the very end of the ace is getting in the way of that tree. So if that happens, just don't think twice about selling the, the glue gunner and the, and the bomb, you know, place, place the ace in the top side. Of course, remember to do that. Then place the other one the closer you can to it. Oh, here we go. And then uh, if you have enough room, place again the bomb and the glue gunner. Pro probably the bomb, you're not gonna be able to do that. Uh, but I think the glue gunner will fit there, yes. So just because of adding some CC, I'm gonna just get a glue gunner 2 3 here. Um, but it's not really that important. I'm gonna get again the ninjas here behind the balloon shippers to add some distraction so that I can distract the balloons. All right. So I sold one of the balloon shippers, now I have three again, but with four aces and with a, a two, a three village. So I think that's more than enough. Also, I forgot to sell these factories. I don't need that much cash. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna place now, probably is gonna be getting this village to four and getting four uh, super monkeys. So I'll get two uh, near the center. So one here. And the other one here. 
and then two closer to the balloon chippers. So that's one and that's two. All right, that should be it. So the two closer to the center, I'll get just sangats. And the two closer to the balloon chippers, I'll get uh, robot monkeys. All right, that should be it. And yeah, with this setup, I think I can survive pretty well uh, the last uh, rounds. Um, I also have the activated ability from the village if I need to. So, um, yeah, why not? I'm gonna just get again, now they have bigger range with the village, the fourth Brun Chipper here in front of all of them. So one there and the other one here. So that's eight brune chippers total, just because of uh, safeness. And that should be it. So I'm gonna just stop talking and I'm gonna interrupt the video once uh, the map is completed. So I hope you enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.